Hey guys, what's going on? So today is the big day. We are headed out to pick up Pillow's new friend. And as you can see, this is where Pillow's cage usually is. And we have moved it because it was recommended that when you bring a new bird into the home, that the new bird and the current bird be quarantined from each other. Quarantine from, is that a phrase? I don't know. That the two birds be quarantined for a month in case either one of them has any sort of illness, you don't want it passing from one to the other. So because the new cage is so large, it's sort of stuck where we have it. We don't have a lot of room to put it anywhere else in the apartment and Pillow's cage is small. So unfortunately he has to go upstairs to our bedroom. And we felt a little bad about doing that because it's his space and he's the one that has to move. But we've been checking on him up there and he's perfectly fine. He's got his toys, he's got his food, he's got the TV with the budgie videos on it. And he's hopping around and he seems no worse for the wear. So that's where Pillow's gonna be for the next three to four weeks, we're thinking, and the new bird is going to move into the cage here. So this is the new jungle gym that we have for the new bird that we got, you might've seen it in that previous video, and it's all ready to go. And we've also added this little barrier between the two cages, so when Pillow does come back down, his mess won't fall down into the new bird's cage. Now it's time to go out and pick him up, him or her, we don't know what it is yet. So let's go. Okay, we have just gotten back from Omar's Exotic Birds, and once again, we're not affiliated with Omar's Exotic Birds. It just happens to be where we bought our birds, so we're mentioning them in the video. So let's take a look at the new friend. Ready? Here we go. Hello. Come here. As you can see, we've got a beautiful baby cockatiel. I'm calling her she because that's what the people at the store first referred to her as. Um, we, nobody knows for sure what gender she is. There's a few signs that you'll be able to tell the gender, one of which this beautiful pearling on her back will disappear in about a year if she's a female. If she's a male, if she's a male, uh, it will remain. The other thing is the females don't sing as much as males do. I think that's another reason why they were thinking she was a female because she really hasn't made very much noise at all. There's a gender test that they can actually do. It was like $30. We considered getting it done, but it involved drawing a little bit of blood. And we didn't think that would be the best thing to do on the day when we're bringing our new bird home. Uh, we just wanted her to be as calm and happy and comfortable as possible. So that's something we might do in the future, we haven't decided yet, but for right now, her gender is still in question. She's only about five or six weeks old. She was born on January 6th, so she's a little baby. We actually purchased and paid for her a few days ago, but she wasn't quite ready to come home yet. And she just got old enough to be weaned, and now she's home with us. And she seems very happy and comfortable. She's a hand-raised cockatiel which is why she's obviously very comfortable right away. She's preening and her eyes are kind of closing. And you see the little orange mark on her forehead. And that was actually a mark that was put on there by the store after we bought her. Um, because she had to stay behind with her flock for a little extra time, um, that's just a marker to indicate that she has been purchased. So that little mark will disappear as soon as those feathers fall out, as soon as she molds. But I like that they chose orange because it matches her cheeks. It looks natural. It's not like purple or pink or something, right? And we ended up choosing a cockatiel because our research and almost everybody seemed to agree that either another budgie or a cockatiel was the best choice to go along with a budgie. So hopefully she and Pillow will become very good friends. And we have not decided on a name yet. Um, Brendan wanted, what did you want? Fuzzhead. Fuzzhead. Brendan suggested Fuzzhead, which I think is a perfectly adequate name. Um, we were gonna see if there were any other suggestions as well. So if anybody has any ideas for a name for this little, we're assuming it's a girl, but maybe a gender, gender neutral name would be best, um, leave it in the comments below and we'll take a look through and maybe we'll get some ideas of stuff we haven't thought of yet. What do you want your name to be? What should we name you? I know another name. What's another name? Pearl Tail, that's a cute name. Now when we bought this bird at Omar's Exotic Birds, they gave us a cockatiel starter kit. It comes with a sheet of all kinds of information about how to care for your bird. It comes with a month's supply of seed and millet. 
this is a good two pounds of seed and millet here. So this is a pretty good deal. It comes with an extra bag of pellets. It comes with a bag of treats. And in here there's some dried fruits and vegetables. There's popcorn, there's red peppers, like chili peppers that apparently these birds absolutely love. I saw them in the store eating them and they were just munchy, 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 munchy. So you, you want a chili pepper in a minute when I'm done? <laughs> and finally, in the care package, there's also a really cool toy. And it's got these foamy things and it's got puzzle pieces and it's got wood. And they said this is good for them because it's different textures and different, you know, different elements of things that they can chew on. So this is gonna go in the cage. And we got all of this great food. So this is all the food that they were feeding her in the store. And so we will be giving her this food and we'll just be gradually mixing it with the food that we already bought and have on hand here. And we also need to figure out what kind of fruits and vegetables she likes. Because like budgies, it's very good for cockatiels to have fruits and vegetables. We know Pillow likes broccoli and spinach. Those seem to be his two favorite vegetables. And so we're just gonna have to find out what she likes. We bought some bedding. Um, this is pine bedding for the bottom of the cage. And I think there's there's differing opinions on whether this is the best thing to use or not. Um, I know a lot of people just use newspaper, paper towels or whatever. We're just trying this out to see if it works and if it's a hassle or it's not very convenient, we won't do it again. But she's obviously hand raised. Yeah. So she's very comfortable with humans. So we tried to put her on her new perch over there so she could relax and uh, she was not having it. She actually would prefer to be <laughs> on us. She's far more comfortable that way. So uh, we'll just keep her out for a little bit and uh, kind of get used to us and then she's to her new home. Yeah, and she'll get used to this eventually. It's just yeah. brand new. It doesn't look exactly like the one in the store, so I'm sure she's a little weirded out by it. And it was funny because in the carrying case, I was carrying the carrying case on the drive home and she was like wedged up against the side that I was on, <laughs> peeking up and trying to climb out of it. So she was definitely trying to get to me. I'm gonna settle in pretty quickly, I think. So that's it. You can expect a lot more videos from us in the future now that we have two birds to shoot instead of one. And again, any name suggestions you have for the new bird, put them in the comments and we'll take a look at them all and figure something out. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Say bye. <laughs>